Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about uh, the basics of division theorem. We are going to understand that. Uh, this is very, very easy class to understand. Uh, so, you, you have the basics from division basics in our plus one, plus two playlist. Uh, so, just we want to refresh the concepts of division so that uh, these concepts, the intuition which we are going to provide here will help you a lot in understanding the coming classes next classes where we are going to understand the theorem for finding the gcd using euclidean algorithm we use these basics that's why we are going to refresh this concept now coming to the concept let a and b be any two integers you take any two integer values a and b but b should be greater than zero means you are you need to take positive number so a and b be any two integers if you are having these two integers then there exist unique integers q comma r you have to identify this properly there exist unique integers q comma r these are unique such that a is equal to b q plus r so we can write a b in the form of a is equal to b multiplied by q plus r <coughs> and where r is always less than or equal to 0 all r is lies between 0 and b means less than b 0 less than or equal to r less than b it is satisfying that condition see don't get confused how we have written this a is equal to b q plus r it is just a division algorithm, division, the basic division formula. Let us try to refresh that. If you take A divides by B, B multiplied by Q, here you are going to get quotient value and here you are going to get reminder value. That is what this equation says. See here, assume that A is equal to 42, B is 8, 8 5 40 and the remainder value is 2. So, 42 can be written as A is equal to 42. 42 can be written as B is 8, 8 fives. Q is quotient. 8 fives, 40 plus R is 2. Remainder value. The exact division is written like this. If you are having A, B, 2 values, you are having two unique integer values Q, comma R such that it is satisfying this condition A is equal to B, Q plus R. So, coming to the mathematical proof why, why this condition satisfies, let us take some intuition why this condition satisfies A, comma B, these are the integers which we consider. Now, we need to consider the infinite sequence of B means 0, B, 2B, 3B, 4B, 5B up to positive infinity similarly minus b minus 2b so on up to negative infinity this is the infinite sequence of b definitely definitely b 2b 3b 4b definitely a is going to lie between some consecutive a is equal or lies between two consecutive multiples of b what's the meaning of this assume that a is equal to 17 b is equal to 5 5 2 5 means 10, 3 5 means 15, 4 5 means 20, 17 lies between 2 consecutive 2 multiples of B. It lies between 3B and 4B. 3B means 15, 4B means 20. So, this is what 3B means B multiplied by Q. Here Q value is 3, 15 and the remainder value is 17 minus 15 which is 2, 2 is the remainder value and one more point you need to understand, see A lies between 3B and 4B, so the remainder value is definitely less than B, this is the point you need to understand, see very very basics, A is equal or lies between two consecutive multiples of B, this can be written as A is lies between QB less than or equal to a less than or equal to less than q1 q plus 1 b so from this we can write it as for some q for some q this happens then we can write it as a minus qb 
can be definitely means remainder value a is equal to qb plus r remainder is equal to a minus qb definitely it lies between 0 to b it is not equal to b less than b so that's why a minus qb means remainder r is equal to a minus qb this can be written as a a is equal to qb plus r So we got the equation a is equal to qb plus r and it was says that it, it shows that uh, from the theorem it shows that uh, there exist unique integers q comma r unique means only one set of this pair so why why it is only unique numbers let's try to understand uniqueness of q and r assume a can be expressed in so we are assuming that so we are having multiple q values and multiple r values and we are showing that it is not possible that is what we are doing it here assume a can be expressed in given form in two ways assume that a can be written as a is equal to q1 b plus r1 a is equal to q2 b plus r2 assume that this is possible at the end, we are going to show that it is not possible. Both are equal. So, from this, from these two statements, we can write it as Q1 B plus R1 is equal to Q2 B plus R2. So, if you take the R1s and Qs to the right hand side, R1 minus R2 is equal to Q2 minus Q1 B. So, from this, from this statement, we can say that B multiplied by some integer equal to R1 minus R2 means assume b is equal to 8, 8, 5, 40, means definitely b can be, this shows that from this equation we can say that b divides r1 minus r2, which is not possible because both r1 and r2 are, which is false because r1 and r2 are positive integers that are less than b, because they are, they are the remainder values. From the above, we already showed that R1 is a remainder value, R2 is remainder value, remainder values are always less than B. Two positive integers that are less than B, if you subtract them, can B divide that? No, it is not going to divide that. So that's why we are having unique values. Unique A is equal to Q, B plus R. You are going to get Q and R values, unique values. So this is what about division theorem. Hope you understand this uh, division theorem. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.